Uh, first of all, a few quick introductions. So my name's Alex Bene. Uh, I'm a senior virtualization engineer at Lenaro, and I'm also the tech lead for Project Stratos. Uh, you can find me fairly easily on the internet, but uh, on the IRC channels, I either go by the handle ST Squad or AJB Lenaro, depending on the channel. So just a little bit about Lenaro for those of you that aren't familiar. Uh, we're a membership-driven organization. We draw our members from all over the ARM ecosystem. And our mission statement is basically to drive open source development for the ARM platform. Uh, we've got our fingers in a lot of pies, so we work with things all the way from the uh, smallest IoT embedded devices through your bog standard enterprise server type uh, setups all the way up to high performance computing and uh, supercomputing environments. We're also an upstream first engineering organization, uh, so generally we tend to work directly on the upstream projects uh, and you'll find that the code we write ends up there. Let's talk about the demo. The aim of this uh, demo is to show a single software stack running on multiple hypervisors and also on multiple pieces of hardware. So let's talk about the KVM um, deployment first. So. Uh, here's uh, what KVM looks like um, running with virtualization. So your firmware boots in uh, to the host Linux kernel. Uh, because of the way K uh, KVM is designed, it's sort of all one blob. But what's actually happening on ARM is we've got a uh, the host kernel mostly sits in EL1, but then we have a little trampoline that runs in EL2, which is the hypervisor layer. Um, and then for user space, we've got Cremu, uh, and then on the guest side, it's the HL user space. So the demo platform uh, that I'm doing the KVM demo on is a, a Marvel Macchiato bin. Uh, so it's a, basically an a, a ARM development board. It's uh, got four A72 cores, uh, 62 gigabytes of RAM, uh, and a NVIDIA GK208 um, running the Nouveau uh, uh, driver stack. And this is on top of uh, a Debian Buster uh, OS. So let me just switch across to my camera. So there you go, it's an ARM64 machine. And if I uh, maybe LSPCI, and then you can see hardware. So I think we'll get Cremu up and running on this. This is the sort of pseudo um, air conditioning system, and we can turn things on and off, uh, enable the seat warmers. There's obviously no real hardware that we're attached to. So now let's talk about our Zen deployment. Um, so the Zen system is uh, looks broadly the same at the top end. So it's the same AGL uh, kernel, the same AGL user space. But this time we've got the Zen hypervisor. Um, the design of Zen is the hypervisor is much thinner. Usually it leaves the um, hardware emulation to something else. So in this case, in a DOM0 deployment, the, the um, guest has direct access to the hardware, and the hardware is a uh, fully emulated MVERT board, uh, and I'm doing this with Cremu's um, ARM64 emulation. So as far as the Zen hypervisor is concerned, all this hardware really exists. And that's perfectly fine for, for, for VertIO. In fact, you know, having real hardware for VertIO is one of the things you can do. Right, let me just, there we go, talk about the host platform. So it's a Core i7, uh, x86-64 machine. Uh, I'm emulating the ARM64, so it will run a little bit slower. Uh, got 32 gig of RAM in this machine, and I've got Intel graphics uh, instead of NVIDIA. So let's just switch across to the demo. There we go. So we'll just bring it up. So there you go. You can see uh, that's the Zen hypervisor as it detects the hardware and loads the guest kernel into position. And there you go. And there you go. You can see it all pops out. And then we'll just click the same buttons as before. Uh, takes a little bit longer for the actual software to run, but as you can see, the, the graphics respond pretty quickly. And there you go. And then again, I'll turn up the fan speed. What are our next steps? So the next steps for um, this particular uh, example that we want to get up and running is running as a DOM U guest. So Zen's traditional deployment model is to have a DOM zero kernel that is the kernel of most privilege and accesses the actual hardware of the system, which is what we were doing in the last case. And then for the guests themselves, run in a less privileged mode called DOM U, uh, and then 
the, the hardware accesses that they make get passed to the DOM0 um, to be handled. Uh, so I, that's what we hope to demonstrate later. All right, uh, just a quick reminder, Project Stratos, uh, we do all our development in the open. Uh, so there's a, a link to our homepage there. Um, search for Stratos Lenaro, you should find it. We also have a mailing list uh, and you can also find me on the IRC channels on Lenaro Virtualization on Freenode.